don't have a Mac, want your Windows to look exactly like Mac OS without installing 1000 themes or bloated apps that slow everything down? I've got you covered. This is Windows 11 Mac OS 26 Tahoe Edition, a custom build that brings Apple's clean design to your PC without losing speed or functionality. Hi, this is Neil from Harbor of Tech today. I'll walk you through how to turn your regular Windows PC into something that looks and feels just like Mac OS 26 Tahoe using a custom Windows 11 build made by me. You don't need a Mac and you don't need to install dozens of sketchy themes or heavy launchers. This build is pre-configured and optimized so it runs smoothly, even on older hardware. The download link is in the description, but make sure you watch the full video to get the exclusive access code. You'll need to unlock it. After downloading, you'll get a zip file extracted using 7-zip or WinRAR, and inside you'll find everything you need including the ISO and the setup tools. Now let's begin the setup step by step. Now open the extracted folder and launch the Rufus application. Plug in a USB drive with at least 8GB of free space. Make sure that the USB does contain any important data as everything on it will be erased. In Rufus, select the ISO file from the extracted folder. Leave the other settings at default and click start. If an error appears during this step, don't worry. Simply change the file system from FNT32 to NTFS and try again. This usually solves the problem. Once you click start, Rufus will begin copying the files to the USB. This can take a few minutes depending on how fast your USB drive and port are. To save time, I'll skip ahead. When the process completes, safely remove the USB drive, restart your PC, and boot from the USB. You may need to press a key like F12 or Escape during startup to select the boot device. After that, the installation process will begin. Once you boot from the USB, the installer takes you straight to the partition selection screen. No extra steps, just pick the partition you want to install on. I'm using a 20GB partition but you can choose what fits your needs. Make sure it doesn't have anything important because it will be erased. Click next and the installation will begin. It might take around 10 to 20 minutes depending on your PC. While that's happening, let me show you something that will make your system even faster. This is Velotic, I made it to optimize low-end PCs like yours, and it works perfectly with any edition of Windows 10 or 11, whether stock Microsoft or custom bonus. Velotic boosts FPS in over 150 games, cleans junk files on startup, and offers over 501 click tweaks to speed up Windows. You also get automatic app installations, driver updates, and one-click blow for removal. It even compresses your drive to save up to 70% of space without deleting any files. It's lightweight, easy to use, and delivers real performance improvements with no technical setup needed. You install it once and it just works. Right now, you can get a lifetime license for just $9.99, no monthly fees. You can pay with PayPal, debit or credit card or even crypto. The link's in the description. Give it a try. The Lottie can make your old PC feel new again. Once the installation finishes, your PC will restart and take you to the desktop, but you're not done yet. Now comes the important part called compression. Open the Configure app on the desktop and go to the Compression tab, click Enable. This reduces disk usage and keeps the system light. It can take 10 minutes to a couple of hours depending on your CPU, but you can continue using your PC during the process. Once it's done, restart your PC and compression will be done. Thanks for sticking around. Now that everything's set up, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's check the disk usage. Open File Explorer, right-click the system drive, and click Properties. As you can see, it takes up just around 6 GB. That's actually smaller than the original Windows 11 installation. No preloaded junk, no unnecessary apps, just a clean and fast setup that works right out of the box. Now you might be wondering about browser options, I considered adding Safari but it has not been updated for Windows in years and is not secure. For your safety Chrome is already set up and can be launched from the dock. If you prefer Copilot or Edge, you can install them with one click from the toolbox. 
Comment below which browser you use, I read and reply to every comment. You will also find links to my YouTube channel and Discord server inside the toolbox. Join the Discord to check the help or just hang out with the community. It is the best place if you run into any issues. I've also included the Fluent Magnifying Dog for Mac Olds, just like the one you see on a real Mac. The glass design of the menu bar and the Mac OS 20X style file explorer are replicated here as well, but if you don't see the fluent look or if the dock feels laggy, it's likely a graphics driver issue, dual monitor problems, slow animations, or display glitches are also signs of missing or incorrect drivers. Make sure you install them from the toolbox to get the full experience. So, let's install the drivers. First, open the Configure app and click on Install Drivers. After that, click on Scan. The app will check your system and list all the missing or outdated drivers. You can choose to install all or pick only the ones you need. It also gives you the option to create a backup before proceeding. Once you start the installation, it will download and install everything automatically. When it's done, restart your PC to apply the changes. This step is important to fix issues like missing effects, slow animations, or problems with dual monitors. If your apps or games crash or close unexpectedly, you should enable paging files from the toolbox and then restart your PC. Paging files were disabled to save disk space, but enabling them helps improve system stability and prevents crashes during heavy use. Now let's talk about security. Yes, this version includes Windows Defender. If you go to Settings, you'll notice Defender is disabled by default. To enable it, open the toolbox and simply click Enable under the Defender tab. After that, check back in Settings. You'll see that real-time protection is no longer grayed out and has been turned on. This means your system is actively protected without any extra steps. Last thing left to cover is the App Store. Simply click on the Store icon on the dock, and the Microsoft Store will open up just like on a regular Windows system. You can browse, download, and update your favorite apps and games without any problems. Signing in with your Microsoft or Xbox account works smoothly, so you can access your purchase content and sync your settings easily. Overall, the Store functions fully and integrates well with the setup. Just as promised, here is the viewer exclusive access code. Use it to unlock the zip file and get started. Next, we will look at a method to install this voice without needing a USB drive. To install using this method, first locate or create an empty drive and format it with the NTFS file system. Next, open the extracted folder and launch the voice alchemy app. Despite its playful name, this tool was developed to install Windows without a bootable USB. It works on supported PCs and is ideal for dual boot setups or when a USB drive is unavailable. The app will prompt you to select the ISO file and then choose the target drive you format it. After that, it will complete the installation automatically, usually within a few minutes. If you encounter issues with the app links on the download page, feel free to message me on our Discord server. Whether you need assistance or just want to chat, our community is here to help. You might wonder why there is an access code or ads involved. Regular links are often taken down by YouTube along with the videos. I dedicate several hours daily to prepare these builds and videos, so the access code helps ensure that only my supportive and loyal viewers benefit. Additionally, skipping the video often leads to installation problems that I have already addressed in detail. Volonic users enjoy direct downloads without ads. Once the installation finishes, restart your PC to see the dual boot menu. Select the new OS and continue. The remaining steps match the process shown at 3 minutes and 35 seconds in the video. Feel free to rewind if needed. If the dual boot menu does not appear, it may be due to using an older or unsupported version of Windows. In that case, you can use any PCD editor to create the necessary boot entries. I have invested significant effort into building these tools and making them user-friendly with many customization options. Now it is your turn to support by liking, subscribing, and sharing. The faster this video reaches more people, the sooner the next one will be ready. See you in the next video. This is Harbor of Tech signing off.